Okay, so now we have cut both holes in the doors. Two very important steps that we don't want to leave out. After we cut the holes in the doors, they leave some jagged edges on the inside. So we take a die grinder, put a little rotary tool on the end of it, and you want to go in and deburr the insides of these holes. They call it coining. You want the insides of these holes to be really smooth because if you ever have to get in there in the future and work on it or somebody else does too, you don't want them to draw back a bloody hand. Now, because we're gonna put a speaker in these holes, here's a very important step that a lot of people forget to do or don't think about doing. Your speaker is actually a little piece of paper that, that bounces back and forth in accordance with electrical signals being sent to it. Because it's paper, it is very susceptible to any kind of metallic damage. So, we've got our magnet on a stick. And we're gonna take our magnet on a stick and we're gonna go inside this door and clean it out as good as we possibly can and try to get every little bit of any kind of a metallic shaving or anything. You can see how much I pulled out there. This is from the process of cutting the doors, cutting the holes in the doors. So you wanna get, because what will happen is on the back of your speaker is a magnet and the speaker is paper. But guess what happens, you hit a bump and the magnet may pull one of these little shavings right down into your uh, paper part of your speaker. And you don't want those shavings to get hung up in the paper part of your speaker and destroy your speaker, especially a very rare speaker like these little four by eights are that go in these old Ford Mustangs.